What's going on guys? How are you? With George here. I'm gonna show you a move that I see every now and then. It's pretty dangerous, right? I actually went for it the other day against Terrazzo. I was like, you know what? This guy, you know, he didn't want this ball. <laughs> All right, so this is like a sort of a quick cheap shot technique. You kind of have to do it a little bit safely, right? You can't really wrench it. So you have to have a little bit of control. Uh, but it's kind of like this Japanese jiu-jitsu move called Mayatoshi. This way, right? So there's tension in this elbow, and then I'm bringing the thing through. Very difficult to throw somebody like this. But every now and then in judo, you can throw somebody like this. Okay? Inside position, outside position, right side versus left side. Strip. Okay? This hand is available. I catch the hand to the outside, and I lever this arm down into my form. Okay? I lever this arm down, I duck my head, and I spin underneath. Okay, so you have to kind of go with me, right? And I'm gonna really rip this on really fast. You ready, tempo roll for me? Kind of, yeah, you can go slow, we're gonna go slow, right? So I'm gonna lever this arm down and I'm gonna drive, right? And there's a lot of tension going into this arm here. So my opponent has to go over, okay? The key to this move is constant tension on that joint, okay? So we're gonna go slow again, right? I like the inside position for this because it's very easy to strip this hand and now look, I can catch this, okay? So watch one more time, look as I go slowly, don't go here, right? Look, I drop underneath, and you see how there's tension here on the elbow? Annoying, oh, it hurts, right? It's gonna hurt. Hurt, 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 he has to go over, and now we're in this position, obviously you could pull your opponent into you here, sit up, right, climb, he's really cut to the top. Right, this is a nice move, sneaky move, Kind of dangerous, but we're pretty good. I, maybe I showed this before, I don't really know. Let's look at it from the other angle. So you're right, I'm standing as a lefty. Sometimes I'll do judo as a lefty, isn't that crazy? Boom, I catch, down, over, and over. Okay, I've seen this in wrestling. So we're looking at nogi, right? If you have the collar tie with this backside arm, collar tie here, All right, I've seen guys coming this way. And then throw this arm through, and then go underneath. I've seen that. Essentially, what it is is uh, attacking the arm in the ude garami position, going underneath, creating that torque, and then going underneath. So they have to go. So you're torquing off, right? Really interesting technique. You don't want to build an entire. Uh, you don't want to just rely on this, right? Because a lot of times with these one-off attacks, you don't want to just go through. Right? But every now and then, like if I'm fighting right, left, right, and if I'm taking the hand off, and if I can get here, I may go, right, as part of a overall system of stuff, right? It's good. Nice to have one or two of these tricks, right? Now, you have your system, and you have these one-off tricks. A lot of the times, I'll do this. If I'm on the outside, okay, a little bit more difficult to do, right? If I'm on the outside, look, I catch here, and I go, sue me. To this far away, okay? So I elevate, if I can get it, great. If I don't, you know, didn't work. Now I'm doing the wrong, right? So every now and then I'll be like right side, left side, and then you'll catch me, right? If I have the inside position, right? If I have the inside position, I'll strip this hand, and then kind of go here. If I have the outside position, you have to go underneath, right? I might be moving here, sue me, right? A lot of little sneaky stuff. Oh, maybe Korean Senai. Okay, that's a very good one. It's a very popular one. Okay. So. Us. Thank you.